William Alexander Morgan, April 19, 1928, March 11, 1961, was a United States citizen who fought in the Cuban Revolution, leading a band of rebels in battles that drove the Cuban army from key positions in the Central Mountains and helped pave the way for Fidel Castro's forces to secure victory. Known as El Yankee Comandante, Morgan was one of about two dozen U.S. citizens to fight in the revolution and one of only three foreign nationals to hold the rank of Comandante and the rebel forces. Morgan married a Cuban, Olga Maria Rodriguez Farinas, who was also a revolutionary and together they had two daughters. Throughout the struggle against Batista, Morgan was vocal about Castro's supposed anti-communist beliefs. When asked during interviews about Castro's political beliefs and where the new Cuban government was leaning, he remained firm in his belief. And that Cuba would become capitalist parliamentary democracy. Castro began to reveal his socialist leanings. Morgan became disenchanted with the revolutionary government, as did other members of the SFNE, who believed in a democratic Cuba. Morgan was arrested in October 1960, and charged with plotting to join and lead the counter-revolutionaries who were active in the Escambray Mountains. Morgan was executed by firing squad on March 11, 1961. He was 32 years old. Two months later, on the 1st of May 1961, Castro declared Cuba a socialist nation. Thank you.